Hey, hi. Uh, the Venture Vermont Challenge has started again for this year. Uh, started last month. And uh, tying three new knots, learning to tie three new knots, is on the list. And um, there's <laughs> there's never any shortage of knots to learn to tie. My, my friend MB bought me the Ashley Book of Knots for my birthday last year. Which is handy because I'm interested. Um, but I'm working on a cord hammock that I can uh, use at my campsite this year. So, um, I learned to tie I learned to tie a French sinnet, which is one of those fabulous running knots. Keep the tension on it. Downstairs I have about 25 feet of French sinnet <laughs> that I tied last night that I'm going to use as part of my hammock. But this is what it looks like getting tied. And you keep the tension even on it so that you get nice even links. And it turns out, by the way, in case you wondered, this version of it that I'm tying with loops instead of putting the working end through every time. This is Ashley number 2869. But this is the knot that is traditionally used for the gold braid on naval uniforms. It's also handy for keeping your cords uh, in storage without being tangled. And it's handy for just making a decorative cord. Uh, and when I make my hammock, I'm going to be able to put the weaving in through there. And it's just, I think it's more stylish than a braid. Um, and so that's French Senate. And if you want to lock it off, you put the working end through this loop. But one of the great things about this particular knot is that if you are done with it, you can just pull it loose. And you're done.